in this video i am going to show you how to find derivative of sine of x square by first principle first of all let me explain you what is first principle of finding derivative or the first principle of differentiation suppose y is equal to f of x is a function of variable x f of x is denoted by y which is a function of variable x and also suppose that del y is a small increment increment or you can say change in value of y similarly del x is equal to a small increment or change in value of x this means since y is a function of x a small change in value of x causes change in value of y so del y is the change in value of y due to change in value of x then derivative of derivative or differential coefficient or coefficient of differentiation of y with respect to with respect to x and denoted by dy by dx is given by dy is equal to dy by dx is equal to you can say limit del x tends to 0 del y by del x are equal to limit del x tends to 0 uh, this is uh, actually f of x plus del x minus f of x divided by del x or in term of given function you can write limit del x that tends to 0 or del x approaching to 0 or del x has value very close to 0 in in place of f of x plus del x we have to write sign of x plus del x whole square minus and in place of f of x we have to write sine of x square divided by del x it is because you know f of x is given function sine of x square and uh, in second case in second case now we supposed del x is a small change in value of x so this is final value and this is initial value So dy by dx is equal to limit del tends to 0 uh, sin x plus del x whole square sin x square by del x provided that limit exists okay so the third variable in this form is called the first principle of derivative or differentiation the process of finding derivative of any given function with respect to its variable is called differentiation and the principle we use for finding the derivative of given function uh, through this process is called principle of differentiation now let me simplify further so we have dx by dy is equal to dx by dy by dx is equal to limit del x tends to 0 sine of x plus del x whole square minus sine x square minus sine x square by del x so here um, we have to change this term 
for that we have uh, we know the relation that is sine c minus sine d is equal to 2 times sine c minus d by 2 multiplied by cos c plus d by 2 so we use this relation here so dy by dx is equal to limit del tends to del x tends to 0 so sine c is here c is del x plus del x square so uh, 2 is there and sine of uh, this is c this is d x square is d so here uh, we have to write um, x plus del x whole square minus x square whole divided by 2 and similarly uh, x plus del x whole square plus x whole divided by x whole divided by del x limit del x tends to 0 now we have to simplify the terms inside sine and cos so here what we, ca we can do is uh, we open this bracket this is uh, x plus del x whole square and this is in the form of a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square so using this relation for the terms inside this uh, cos and sine we get uh, x square plus 2x times del x plus del x whole square minus x square divided by 2 and cos x cos of x x square plus 2x times del x plus del x whole square plus x square whole divided by 2 and whole open there is del x Now further simplifying we get limit del x tends to 0 there is 2 obviously and sine this x this x is cancelled out so we we are remained with 2 times del x plus del x whole square divided by 2 times cos this uh, x square plus this x square gives 2x square plus 2 del x plus 2x times del x plus del x whole square by 2 whole divided by del x is there okay dy by dx is equal to 2 times limit del x tends to 0 sine 2x times del x plus del x whole square divided by 2 times cos 2x square plus 2, 2x times del x plus del x whole square whole divided by 2 whole divided by del x now let me take out this uh, cos term because uh, we can use now del x is equal to 0 inside this cos so using del x is equal to 0 inside this cos and taking out it from the limit we get uh, 2x square plus 0 plus 0 divided by 2 and the terms inside the limit is left with sine of 2x times del x plus del x whole square divided by 2 whole divided by del x so we get 2 times um, cos x square multiplied by limit del x tends to 0 sine of 2x times del x plus del x square divided by 2 whole divided by del x now inside this sign uh, del x is very very smaller than del x square is very very smaller than del x so uh, this imply 2x times del x plus del x square is 
comparable to 2 times 2x times 10x we can use this term inside this sign so we get 2 times cos square multiplied by del x tends to 0 sin 2x del x divided by 2 whole divided by del x now cos of x square multiplied by limit tends to 0 multiplied multiplied by the terms that contains limit del tends to 0 and this 2 and 2 is cancelled out we are left with x del x divided by del x also 2 x square limit del x tends to 0 now here we have to convert this term inside the limit to the form we know limit x tends to 0 sin x divided by x is equal to 1 so that we can use this for uh, relation here for that uh, the terms inside the sign must be um, same as the term here so but uh, here only del x is there so we have to uh, multiply by x so let me do this del x there is x and we have to add here multiply this term by 1 by x now uh, since this is the function of del x so we can take out x outside from the limit and it gives 2 2x square into 2 times cos x square multiplied by del x tends to 0 sin of sin of x del x divided by x del x and this uh, x goes up so i can write like this cos x square into now this term is equal to 1 because uh, this term is same as this one so it is 1 and x is there so we are left with 2 times x times cos of x square so that the derivative of that is d d by dx of what sin x square is equal to 2x times cos of x square so this is how you can find out the um, derivative of a sin of x square by using first principle of differentiation this much in this video thank you so much for watching